This theory can be represented mathematically by just one equation with energy equals mass linked to the Lorentz contraction of space and time. The Lorentz contraction represents the time dilation of Einstein's theory of relativity. We have energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of energy exchange or continuous creation. Mass will increase relative to this process, with the C2 representing the speed of light radiating out in a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius, forming a square of probability. This forms the probability and uncertainty of everyday life that, at the smallest scale of the process, is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The brackets in the equation represent a dynamic boundary condition of an individual reference frame with an arrow of time for each frame of reference. The infinity symbol represents an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming an interactive process relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In such a theory, the future is continuously unfolding photon by photon, with wave-particle duality continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. We have the holographic principle with the information of a three-dimensional process unfolding in the form of a two-dimensional inner concaved and outer convex surface of the sphere with the movement of positive and negative charge. By using the holographic principle in this way, the extra dimensions of string theory can be explained as just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous creation. The same dynamic spherical geometry can be seen with electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law representing the geometry of this universal process, with gravitation being a secondary force to electromagnetism. Every action creates a reaction, and the inward force of gravity is the reaction of the outward momentum of photon energy as a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. In my other videos I explain how this process of energy exchange can be a universal process that is relative to the different structures that the atoms form with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. A process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will naturally form entropy or disorganization with the built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. This can be seen in the ability the atoms have to bond together, forming patterns of infinite complexity. Such a process also forms the potential that is needed for the complexity and diversity of cell life, with the organization and movement of positive and negative charge being relative to the membrane of each living cell. What makes this process difficult to comprehend is at higher temperatures we have a phase change of matter with the process unfolding at much larger scales in the form of plasma, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life, 
fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms the potential for the ever-changing world of everyday life forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time thanks for watching please share and subscribe it will help the promotion of this theory